Today, the leaders of Germany, France, Russia, and Ukraine agreed to meet this Wednesday when they'll discuss terms of a possible ceasefire in Ukraine. Tomorrow, President Obama has a critical meeting on the crisis with German Chancellor Angela Merkel at the White House. Here's Juliana Goldman. Even with new peace talks scheduled, the U.S. and European alliance may be splintering in its approach to confronting Russian President Vladimir Putin. President Obama is considering sending weapons to help Ukraine fight Russian separatists, a move that German Chancellor Angela Merkel and French President Francois Hollande warn would escalate the conflict and play into Putin's claims that the West is trying to weaken Russia. Let me assure everybody, there is no division, there is no split. Speaking at an international security conference in Munich, Secretary of State John Kerry played down divisions. We will stand together in support of Ukraine and in defense of the common understanding that international borders must not, cannot be changed by force. Sunday's announcement capped a week of high-stakes diplomacy, with Merkel and Hollande shuttling to Kiev to meet with Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko and Moscow to meet with Vladimir Putin. France and Germany have insisted that the only solution is diplomatic, even as they privately acknowledge that Putin has reneged on past promises. A peace plan agreed to in September has since fallen apart, and a key sticking point will be whether rebels in eastern Ukraine will get to keep the territory they've captured over the last several months. Putin does not want a diplomatic solution. Republican Senator John McCain, who was also in Munich Sunday, said Putin will only respond to hard power. He wants to dominate Ukraine as well as Russia's other neighbors. He may make tactical compromises here or there, but just as a prelude to further aggression. This will be a top item on the agenda tomorrow when President Obama sits down with German Chancellor Merkel. But Jeff, as one U.S. official told us, Putin hasn't delivered on past promises. So it's not just about a piece of paper, but whether Russia and its proxies will back it up with actions. Juliana, thank you very much.